turning your expertise and your knowledge into content that people can purchase is step number one to creating an online course. But how do you actually set up your online course funnel? Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Tony Lewis with Thrive Themes. And before we start, this is just your super friendly reminder to both hit the like button and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, in order to set up a course funnel, we first need to identify all of the different bits and pieces of our tech stack. The first thing that you're going to need is Thrive Apprentice. This is the best learning management system to power an online course. With it, you can create and edit however you want the layout and the aesthetics of your course and each of your individual lessons. The second tool that you're going to need inside your tech stack to build out your online course funnel is a payment processing system, a checkout system. Um, I personally really like Thrivecard. I've been using it for years now. It's really cool. It integrates directly with Thrive Apprentice. Plus you can also set up sales funnels with it as well in case you ever need to do that. I can really vouch for Thrivecard. And finally, of course, the third tool, the third thing that you need inside your tech stack is a website. You need a place where you can actually place all of your checkout forms and you can uh, also let people learn about your course. What is it about? Build out your sales pages and so forth and so on. Um, you can use Thrive Suite to get this done really, really quickly and really easily. With Thrive Theme Builder, you can create the theme that will be persistent throughout all of your website pages. And with Thrive Architect, you can easily build them out. So as a quick recap, we've built a website using Thrive Suite, using Thrive Theme Builder and Thrive Architect. We've created beautiful high converting pages for our course, and we have cool checkout forms on them. These checkout forms are going to be powered by something like Thrive Cart or WooCommerce. And as soon as someone completes a payment, this is going to send a signal to Thrive Apprentice so that we can create a new account for our new customers on our website and give them access to our course. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now, what happens if someone were to try to access our course without having paid for it? Or what happens if someone tries to access our course, but they haven't logged in yet? Believe it or not, this is actually quite an important step inside our course funnel. You see with Thrive Architect, you can actually show and tease all of the different lessons inside one of your courses. But we have to make sure that if someone does indeed click on one of these lessons, uh, that we either display a message that tells the user that, hey, you first need to purchase my course, or you first need to log in if you've already purchased the course. So let's actually do that real quick. All right. Okay, so I'm in the back end of my Thrive Apprentice dashboard. Here you can see that I've got four published courses, one that I'm still working on. And um, I have four products, one for each of my published courses. If I were to navigate inside any of these published uh, products, any of these published courses, I can actually see that we have a an area in here that says access restriction rules. This is where Thriver Apprentice is going to let me customize the behavioral settings for what could potentially happen if someone were to access my course without having purchased it beforehand or what happens if someone who's not logged in into my website tries to access my course. Um, we obviously need to uh, have people logged lo log in into our website uh, because that's the only real way we have uh, to tell if they've actually purchased our course or not. So here, as you can see, we have um, a condition for if a user is not logged in, what's gonna happen? Well, in my case, what I really like to do is create a page that's exclusive to this particular product. So in WordPress, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a custom page that's gonna be called something like um, protection course, you know, Thrive Architect or something like that. And what I'm gonna have um, Thrive Apprentice do is I'm going to redirect to a custom page, which is going to be called, and I can actually create a new page here. So let's call this uh, course protection page. I'm going to create the page and here I can actually build out is a kind of like a sales page, if you will, that will prompt people to purchase the course because they haven't already done so, right? Um, so let's actually edit this page with Thrive Architect. And as you can see, Thrive is actually prompting us to um, build out a new page, right? We can tell Thrive that we would like to build a blank page with our main school header and school footer. And now I'm pretty much good to customize my page however I wish. So I can probably just start creating a background section here. Let's give it a little bit of padding.
Let's insert a new content box, center things vertically speaking, and here we're going to create a call to action. Hey, yo, you got to first purchase my course and let's center this. And here we could technically speaking, insert a checkout form. We can pretty much do whatever you want, right? I mean, this is a very good opportunity for you to try to build out another sales page. You could even bring, uh, bring over elements of your main sales page into this page and try to sell, um, you know, the course again to this visitor who happens to be interested in in looking at your course but that hasn't actually purchased your course yet if we go back to our behavioral settings page here for our access restrictions uh, you can also redirect to the login and registration page there's a few more options that thriver apprentice gives us here you can simply display custom content within the um, page that they're trying to access so you don't have to recreate a new page if you don't want to necessarily do that and again, this is something that you want to do, especially if someone who hasn't logged in yet tries to access your course. For Actually, for this particular scenario, you may want to simply create a new page that says, hey, you forgot to sign in. And so you prompt them to sign in. And if they, signed, if they sign in and they haven't actually purchased your course yet, then um, they will be redirected to the not yet purchased condition. And here, again, you are free to either create a new page or display a you know some custom content there's an option here that thriver princess is giving you which is uh simply inherit your default site behavior this is really cool if you only have one course or if you only have one uh product if you come over to your settings tab um you can actually go inside your login and access restriction tab and as you can see there are some access restriction rules here that you can um, apply to all of your courses and all of your products. Now, in my case, in my scenario, I need to um, edit for each particular course and for each particular product what the behavior is going to look like. So I don't wish to necessarily inherit my default site behavior for all of my courses. I want to be able to customize them um, for each of them. So instead of actually uh, doing the work here, I navigate back to my course, to my product, sorry. And here I can just uh, customize the access restriction rules for each of them on an individual basis. And this is how you can really easily set up your online course funnel using Thrive Apprentice. Now, before you go, just real quick, um, if you've never heard of Thrive Apprentice, Thrive Architect, Thrive Suite, there is a link down below in the description box. If you click on it, it's going to take you to our website where you can learn more about the conversion focused plugins and tools that we build to help entrepreneurs and companies get their online businesses up and running. And just one last thing I promise before you go, um, do know that November is going to be a very, very exciting month for Thrive Apprentice users. If I were you, I would definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure that you do not miss out on any of the fun things that are coming this month. That's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you very soon.